Let's write the net ionic equation for K2S plus COCl2. This is potassium sulfide and cobalt 2 chloride. So the first thing we do with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. And really all we need to do to balance this molecular equation is put a coefficient of 2 in front of the KCl. So the molecular equation is balanced. Now we can write the states for each substance. And that'll look like this. If you know your solubility rules, Potassium compounds, they're soluble. So these two substances will be aqueous. And then chloride compounds, often very soluble. So we have these three are all aqueous. They're going to dissolve, dissociate into their ions. Compounds with the sulfide ion here, this cobalt 2 sulfide, if you have a transition metal and a sulfide, that's going to be insoluble. These two react. We get this solid here, this insoluble compound falls to the bottom of the test tube as our precipitate. So COS, that's the precipitate. Next, we're going to split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. And that looks like this. So we've split all of the aqueous compounds up, but the solid, our precipitate, we keep that together. We don't split that apart into ions. Now we can cross out spectator ions, which are on both sides of that complete ionic equation. So in the reactants here, I have two potassium ions. In the products, I also have two potassium ions. We can cross those out. I see two chloride ions there in the reactants. These spectator ions here, we'll cross them out. We have them again in the products. So we cross out the spectator ions. What's left is the net ionic equation for K2S plus COCl2. I'll clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for potassium sulfide plus cobalt 2 chloride. You'll note that charge is balanced. We have a 2 plus and a 2 minus. That gives us a net charge of 0 here in the reactants. In the products, this is neutral compound, so net charge is 0. And then if you count the atoms up, they're balanced too. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for K2S plus COCl2. Thanks for watching.